So we are high as usual. Effectively high more than highly effective. Highly effective. <laughs> effectively high. Highly effectively high. So stick around and watch us go around the event, talking to a bunch of different people, telling you about the, the horse race and how it goes down. Yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for Tensha. gentlemen i'm shouting the microphone i know that because We're i'm very high ready? there we are okay so you guys say the hi guys things i mean fine hi guys welcome back to my <laughs> what's it called Think shark. these are some amazing ladies Think shark. Think shark. Think shark. Think shark. Think shark. Think shark. we are happy we are proud to have uh, <laughs> So for those of you who are wondering how tall Ramsey and I are, not very. This is a standard Kenyan women packaged, delivered, like built very well. But, and really well packaged because this, we are at the long race course. This is, what event is this? This Phillies. is uh, the, Something the about Phillies. The Phillies race for the Nairobi Jockey Club. Most of you so will probably, race. most of you will probably wondering, like, people yeah, actually like come to horse races. races. Don't actually even know about horse <laughs> races, let alone attend. It's a pretty dope thing. It's a thing in Kenya. We found out about it through 254 Beers, who we're going to be reviewing later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the brand we're partnering with. We're going to be doing a brewery tour. This was actually supposed to come the day after, but then, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how it goes. The brewery tour will come after this in the shoot, but in the uh, post edit, when you finally watch this, it's going to come here. Ramsey, where are our manners? Like, who are these lovely ladies? What's your name? Hi, my name is Nira. Hey, my name is Shiro. Shiro and Nira. Oh. And don't they look amazing? Don't they look amazing? Like, this is good coordination. Yeah, good fashion. Oh, by the way, it's so weird because uh, the, the horse races are like a weird fashion event. People actually dress up for this shit. It's a weird thing because we tried. We showed some cleavage, you know, we some chest hair. As best as we could. <laughs> but, like, for the ladies who look stunning, so, what inspired your fashion? Um... <laughs> Your outfit, that is. Um, I just want to do casual, but casual, casual. Yeah. What about you, Nira? Um, same thing, casual, something comfy, mm -hmm. yeah. and something that. Are you Are you guys big on fashion? What are you? Some of your like, are you guys big on fashion? First of all, um, do you really care that much about how you look? Ooh. I. Yeah, but like not that big on fashion. It's only on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> and horse races. Yeah. And horse races. Oh, by the way, nice. something cool about this place is the horse race is actually being done by Kenyan jockeys. I didn't think that would happen. There's a lot of uh, wazungus who will be talking to uh, in the course and, of the day. And like that lady um, who we're going to interview later. I'm <laughs> hoping we will. Don't yes, just... Uh, <laughs> like, like back in Lord Delamere's time. This right. is mostly a white man. So there. the four of us will be slaves. Yeah, we're busy now, like twerking. Now, oh my training. God, master. We're attending these events. And, you know, you're going to see from the footage that, you know, there's lots of white people still around. I'm curious. Fewer than there were before. I'm curious how Shiro and uh, Nira knew about this event. How did how you get to know about this event? Mm -hmm. um, actually, our cousin of ours introduced it to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a nice activity for the yeah. And, yeah, it's cheap. Come on, your kids. Get drunk at the same time. That's something you don't do very often unless you're a very bad parent. But. Here you're allowed to do it because there's horses racing. They'll distract your kids. They won't realize how much of an alcoholic you are. You know, I've been thinking if I were a kidnapper, this would be a really nice hunting ground. <laughs> like everyone's just like fucking abandoning their kids. Like who the fuck is that kid's mother? Anyway, you get my point. So you guys have been amazing. They have a crew of two other friends. You want to shout them out? Or it, it should give us your Instagram handles if you want followers. Like one of those like Buya Radio. What the hell was the Buya Radio show me, bro? The most level go to like a make. Okay, um, yeah, my Instagram is Nira TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my name is She Local. Yeah. She Local. Mm -hmm. As in, She Local. Yeah. She's crazy. But her body is crazy and so is her cousin. Thank you guys so much for making an appearance. We'll be talking to a few more other uh, people. Yeah. But uh, we hope we'll be able to make it to the episode. We are high as usual. 
effectively high more than highly effective. Highly effectively high. Highly effectively high. So stick around and watch us go around the event, talking to a bunch of different people, telling you about the, the horse race and how it goes down. Yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for Pink Shop. Perfect. I'll buy another one. Sorry, bro. We need to get them out of the shot. Yeah. You said he had some hot takes for us, so I'm no, curious. No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Some yeah. hot ass takes. Oh, yeah. I wanted to know your hot takes. Yeah, for, yeah, video. for sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah, like. We're gonna be controversial as fuck. Yeah, like, please don't touch on femicide because we'll fuck it up. We'll, we'll get cancelled. Please. We're gonna get cancelled. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We won't yeah. touch on that. Go ahead. So, anyway. Uh, yeah. Drop a hot take. Um, personally, I think that our economy, our society was better when we were colonized. That's my hot take. Okay. What would you say so? Well, because if I look today, the most resilient buildings in Nairobi are the ones that were built 50 years ago. The ones that were built 10 years ago are crumbling. If I look today, the state of the currency, like a pound, it used to be called a pound, 20 shillings back then, because 20 shillings used to be equivalent to one sterling pound. Today, one sterling pound is equivalent to 170 or something. If I look today at um, our import, export, you know, like difference, all of that shit, it was all worse than it used to be back when we were colonized, or at least two decades after we were colonized. So if I'm being strictly logical, we were better off. I'm just saying. Drop off a take. My whole take, content creators shouldn't pay tax. So first of all, Mr. Uh, Zachary. Fuck. Mr. Zachary is a guy, oh. <laughs> Zach from the Bible. First of all, how do you help us make content, man? Are we making up bullshit? Fun or not? How, what do you have to do with that? Why are we making bullshit? Why bullshit? does it bother you? <laughs> We're making bullshit content for fun, though. And that right. makes money. Like, right. literally. We're actually making people interested about the country because tourism is not doing well. Really? Why right. should we be taxed? We're doing a favor for the country. I mean, technically, if you think about it, if, if you think about it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to coin this term. I don't know if it exists out there, but there's something <laughs> called digital tourism, yeah. which is when a country becomes popular for what it gives out digitally. For example, a lot of people around the world today know South Africa for Ama Piano. That is a form of tourism if your music is being listened to by foreign ears. And if you do not support the local content creation industry in Kenya, how the fuck are we supposed to compete with the rest of the world in digital tourism? Well, I mean, I know this is supposed to be an interview, but uh, give us a hot take. You give us a hot take. Uh, For our audience, not yours, man. A hot take? Yeah, hot take. Hot enough have to, to burn you on the ass. <laughs> give you a baboon. It's like a fucking brand. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. A hot take. The hottest one you have, bro. I bet you have a few. Literally, right now, he's not thinking of a hot take. He's thinking of which one to choose. <laughs> yeah, I bet so you, many. bro. Like, um, people should be allowed to wear whatever they want to wear. If you want to wear a thong my to your interview, choice. or yeah. lack of it. If you, yeah, I mean, the lack of dress. Don't wear underwear to the job. But what, what, what inspires that saying? Like, what, what example? Like, my just my choice, that kind of thing, or? Not really. I just, I just feel like everyone should have. I, I just feel like everyone should, should like have freedom to. I can I can at least partially support him on that point because yeah. traditionally we didn't even yeah, have like people are doing worse things. Yeah, and you're not. We used to wear like, sackcloth, bro. We used to hide our loins. Our boobs used to hang like, out. I know that I have. We used to walk around like the whole world was excess yeah. millionaires, bro. Everyone, even Juma from the printing so like, office, bro. I don't know, like a century ago, a bunch of missionaries bring us clothes and now it's indecent not to wear clothes? You know, that sounds dumb you know as Juma oh, from the like printing office? That sounds dumb as fuck. fuck. Yeah, because we literally have a tribe in South Africa where they don't wear talks. And they show the titties. Yeah. It's titties using yeah. every that, day, that, bro. That, that cultural practice in Botswana. Yeah, in Botswana. Yeah, like yeah. The virgins, they yeah. Don't yeah. Wear clothes. exactly. So, I mean, it's, I know it's part of the cause for porn, but it's actually yeah. a genuine cultural practice. Like these. By the way, if you're interested in that kind of for, uh, that kind of porn, go to Reddit and search African big tits. That's a nice subreddit. Check it out. Have fun. Jerk off. Use Vaseline or uh, oh, whatever the hell you I like. I really enjoyed this with Sagara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me here. Yeah, thank you for awesome. having us, guys. Yeah. We'll be catching more people's really interviews, more yeah. people's yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Check. I hope now you have a feel for what our podcast is about. It's wild and ratchet. <laughs> thank you, Sagara. <laughs>
So we met another masked marauder in the <laughs> in the <laughs> fray. <laughs> Even though she doesn't know <laughs> it yet. What did you think of the the event? What do you think of the event so far? Now that you're here. I can think it's super amazing for the, the, the people of Kenya, for the public. And as a mother, I think this is really nice. You like it? Yeah. yeah instead it's of a my family kids, event. Yeah, it's a family event. Yeah. I can be, instead of my kids being in a Netflix or in a YouTube, yeah. they have a fun. They can have a good chips. They can have good fries. They can have a good... And myself as a parent, I can have a good... You said something. Yeah. You said something about like the marketing for this wasn't good enough. Like you'd prefer that the marketing is better yeah. so you can reach more people. As an entrepreneur, I have my own company. Mm -hmm. so I think a lot like. needs to be done for the marketing. I'm coming from the Limuru Road. Mm. I got it from my friends, and she's my friend from Zambia. She just called me, baby. I'm just bored. I'm like, oh, okay. there's a race course. Wait, so does this How mean this is not your first time here? Yeah, this is my, my first friend. time here. You learned about the event from a friend. Yeah, what that tells me is like, it's not being known by Kenyans. Yeah. Right. It has to be advertised more for the Kenyans to know it. Mm. I think yeah. that's more better. What so I, I had have to call. For, you have right. to, to tell it for people to know. That yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I had to call her and say, okay, what are we doing today? Then she was like, oh, there's something like this going on. There's racing and all that. So I was all excited. Even though I, I got here a bit late, but at the end of the day, it was nice. Oh, um, I would have expected a bit more than what I got to see. Yeah, personally, I thought the horse races were a bit lackluster. It was a bit, it seems like they were going in slow motion. Yeah, Although, to be honest, I haven't had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ferraris. Do you have any events like this in Zambia? Yes. Oh, yeah, we do once in a while. Are you a like, big fan? I think yes. any country that's been Very conquered by the British at some point has uh, <laughs> a horse racing event. They'll make the animals that conquered you run on your grounds. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> maybe I can give some credit yeah. Yeah. because I think it was a bit down and it's coming up. Yeah, it's coming and up. It's more it's are yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of diversity here, which is coming nice. up because yeah. from my knowledge, it's kind of, it was down and it's, no, coming, it's up. coming up. So it's if like, it's coming up, it has to be really let us know it there's a good mix of people here there's uh people from abroad obviously you have people from zambia we have a bunch we have of, a bunch like, of um, people we'll yeah, show you some settlers, descendants yeah. And, yeah. yeah i think from all over and it, it, that's also something to see because you get to mingle with all of you get the to people meet, and it's and it's i mean and i don't want to sound like a schmoozer but it's also <laughs> great for networking right yeah, definitely yeah, you meet yeah. some really oh, interesting yeah. people because yeah. everybody's yeah. really yeah. friendly yeah. as well yeah. 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 You never know. Oh, it's really even for the kids, they have yeah, one. It's yeah, outside. Yeah. I mean, they're the 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 <laughs> Yeah, but they're just running around. So, thank you guys so much for appearing on the podcast. Thank we'll you. get I'm more nice. people's information yeah. and then their, yeah. their, their thoughts on the. Yeah, we love it. So, she's from Zambia, in yeah. case anyone doesn't know. How do you say, yeah. do you say follow things check in, in Zambia? In Zambia. What, language is, what language is Zambia? Because I know Malawi is Chichela. So, how do you call uh, uh, Zambia? Okay, we have quite a lot. I'm Bemba, so Bemba. I will say it in Bemba. Say it in Bemba, please. Yes. Follow things check. More, more, more following. <laughs> following at King Shark. Say it, it's good. Okay, more following at King Shark. More fucker. More fucker. More fucker. More fucker. You hear? Oh, okay. So more fucker. Did you want copper belt? So everybody. While you're here, morning. follow Thing Shark. <laughs> and I really so appreciate much. it because when I came here, the first thing I was like, who is really on top of this? Because yeah, someone needs to let people know this. Someone needs to let people know. And when I yeah. met you, I'm like. I have the right Finally, yeah, yeah. Everyone in Kenya need to just, know this. She's right. Every yeah. kid in Kenya like, need to get this. We need yeah. to have you here. Like, you don't need to be Netflix. You have to be in the rest course. Yes. You see the horse ride. Thank it's you so much. What we want. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the event. But louder. <laughs>
we're shooting. And as we said, it's not just sexy women here. We also have sexy men. That's the horse race back there, and by the way, guys. That's where the horses were racing before. So let's uh, talk about this gentleman over here. He is here for the event. I actually started talking to him because his fashion, because it's also a fashion event, mm -hmm. looked like a gym goer. I said, you look like a policy. He's like, yeah, yeah. And then, See? you know, it's like, yeah, bro, we exchange numbers and that's it. Yeah. yeah. So what inspired you, your look? Is this how you dress on a regular? Yeah, I like shorts. I really like shorts. Like and then the the t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. You like yeah, loose you know, fitting. The leg beast can't go. They can't go. Loose. It doesn't. He likes, can go he likes loose, loose fitting t-shirts. True, yeah. <laughs> for the yeah, ladies. Yeah, these shirts, I like them because of the sunny weather. Exactly. That's a like. So how did you find out about this event? Uh, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's your first time here. Yeah, that's my first time. How would you rate it out of ten so far? Uh, nine out of ten. <laughs> nine out of ten. Yeah. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What's the one point that you didn't give? The, what I don't like about it is uh the space. It's it, I, I I tried to go to eat at the at the, the the hotel there, but then I didn't find space to eat. I I'm not eating the whole day. Wow. I just took some some drinks. But you're yeah, with your chicks. You look okay. You don't look like yeah, yeah. He's here with his chicks, so he's going to eat some time later. You know, I'm going to Yeah, I will. Really like, <laughs> I will eat later. Yeah, but podcast, a bit crazy. I wish I could have gotten some a uh, space to eat. Have really you ever better. heard of Think Shack podcast? What what kind of podcast do you listen to typically? Um, I'm not that podcast person. Mm. Don't listen to podcasts. But do you but watch any YouTube channel? Yeah, online? channels I do. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm. Aviation Which content, I, I do like aviation. We Quite like to fly content. high on Think Shack. Yeah. <laughs> well, not the right kind of high, but we're always high, but... Yeah, uh, we're, we're we're pilots in a way. <laughs> True. Thank you so much for appearing on the on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's going to yeah. be shown to about like four thousand people, hopefully, inshallah. And mm -hmm. for those who want to work out, you this you is how you're going to look after you work yeah. out. Shock, so this is should give be you yeah, go ahead. Give you your honor. So, uh, you like Instagram followers. Dave underscore Alvin zero six. Yeah, I'm 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 currently on Instagram. Just right. Instagram. Alvin. His Dave go Alvin him. six. Instagram yeah. him. like that means like all his posts. Yeah, and then don't follow. Or follow. <laughs> I'm just fucking with follow, you. Follow, 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 yeah. yeah I need so the follows. Stay tuned. We're going to talk to more people. Uh, this is check at the Phillies race. Phillies and guineas. Phillies and guineas. I'm high as fuck. So don't mind me. We are pilots. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, what about you? Awesome. Would you like to come back? Oh yeah, definitely. We want to get here earlier next time. Yeah. Right. We got here too late. Guys, make sure you come early and enjoy the horse races, the fashion, whatever you're into. It's a family affair. You can have fun. So uh, next one, we're hoping to interview you. <laughs> Thanks, right. guys. Cheers, guys. Appreciate Thank it. You. So, Thanks, guys. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Bye. We're doing, we're doing a demo. That was a fuck up.